Hello everyone, I hope that you're all having a fabulous day. Welcome back to my channel. It's been a minute since I've done a haul on here and I wanted to share my newest purchases with you. We got bags, we got shoes, a fragrance, and a little bit in between. So I hope that you enjoy this video. If you do, make sure and give it a thumbs up. And without further ado, let's get started, shall we? All right, so I'm officially calling this haul the word of mouth haul, for lack of a better phrase, because many of the items that I will be sharing with you, I have heard wonderful things about, but I personally didn't get a chance to check them out or test drive them in real life before the purchase. And some of the other items I haven't heard a peep about, which was really fun, uh, but I have been side eyeing them for a while. So like I said before, we got a little bit of everything. All right, so let's begin with an item that I have been side eyeing for quite some time, but I haven't been very successful in finding much information about them. Like, are they comfortable? Do they wear well? Are they heavy or anything like that? So hopefully you guys find this video helpful if you're also looking to to add these to your wardrobe, but I am talking about a new pair of kicks from Lueve. Oh yeah. Uh, these are actually the Flow Runner and I cannot wait to show you guys uh, the color because like I said before, I looked everywhere for reviews on them. I think I found maybe one or two videos, but other than that, there isn't much information on them. Uh, I actually picked these up on Farfetch and uh, I was able to get them for a lot less than retail, so I was really, really stoked about that. Speaking of Farfetch, I also have a 10% off coupon code, which I will put right here. Some T's and C's do apply and I will add those on the description box below. And I will also be adding links to everything that I talk about in this video on the description box below if you guys want to check them out. Uh, but like I said, I did pick them them up on Farfetch and these uh, sneakers retail for $6.90. I think I paid $5.20 or something like that. So uh, I think that was some awesome, awesome savings. Uh, but love the little box. It even has a little uh, monogram on the tab here. And they come with their dust bags. Love that. But the color, oh man, they have these sneakers in a variety of different colors or different colorways, and I think that they're all fabulous. But instead of going for something that's a little bit more neutral, these definitely spoke to me the loudest. I think I've had them in my cart for no joke, probably six or seven months. Uh, and I seriously couldn't be happier that I went for this colorway. Are you ready? Are you ready for these? Are you ready for these? Bam, check these babies out. Oh, I am obsessed, absolutely obsessed. You guys know that sneakers are definitely my jam and I think that these are perfect. I think they're fabulous. I love the colorway. The fact that you have this amazing neon yellow and then you have the sole that is the neon or the fluorescent pink with a little bit of black and a little bit of white. I think that these are unbelievably gorgeous. Uh, and like I said, they have a variety of different colors to pick from, but I thought that these for summer would be amazing. <laughs> Absolutely amazing. They're not heavy at all. I honestly thought that they were going to be a little bit heavier, but I'm happy to say that they're not. I picked these up in the size 40, even though I am a true size nine here in the U.S. Uh, I have noticed that whenever it comes to luxury footwear, if it's made in Spain or if it's made in Italy, a size 40 always ends up working out for me. Uh, even though a true size nine in the U.S. usually translates to a 39 or a 39 and a half. Uh, but like I said, a 40 works out for me perfectly. I have enough space in the toe box. It's not too tight. My heel doesn't pop out or anything like that. But I think that these are, <laughs> I think that these are amazing. Absolutely beautiful with the savings. I mean, that's just the cherry on top, but the color, I seriously cannot get enough of the color. I've thought about going for these in the black and white as well. Uh, I know that those are a little bit more, a little bit safer, if you will, but uh, I just think that these are amazing. <laughs> they are gorgeous. I think it's a perfect color combination too. Uh, they also have these in, um, I've seen these in the, in like a neon green and a neon orange. I believe that this is orange and the bottom is neon green. Those are fabulous too. Uh, but these are definitely right up my alley. Very, very, very comfortable, not heavy whatsoever. And out of all of the luxury sneakers that I, that I have or that I have had, I think that these are by far the most comfortable just initially right off the bat. It doesn't seem like it's a shoe that I have to break in or anything like that either. So that makes me very, very happy. 
but um, just be prepared because you're going to be seeing these uh, these sneakers quite a bit. And like I said, they are the Flow Runner, uh, and uh, they just have the neon the neon yellow, the fluorescent or the neon pink on the bottom, black and white. And you have, of course, you have leather here, and then you have suede here as well. And then this part here is just uh, fabric. It kind of reminds me of um, the Reeboks, uh, the way that that looks right there, but. I think that these are amazing, absolutely amazing. And I couldn't be happier that I followed my singing heart to go for something that's a little bit, it's a little bit louder. I mean, yeah, they're white and black, but those two other fluorescent colors are just, <laughs> they're stunning. Now the next item, oh man, <laughs> this next item, I think some of you guys might make fun of me, all right? That's okay, but I think some of you might make fun of me because it's one of those things that I've seen plastered all over Instagram, I've seen it plastered all over YouTube, and everybody sings its praises, and even though I'm not exactly sure how I would incorporate it into my lifestyle, I love the colors that it's available in, and I love the idea behind it, so maybe I'll end up using it more than I think that I would, who knows? But but if you guys also have this, let me know and how you incorporate it into your lifestyle as well. But I am talking about the Longchamp Le Pliage Filet Bag. This is in the color rose. Okay, so like I said before, this is available in a variety of different colors. And I've heard so many people talk about this bag. Uh, they like using it for the beach. They like uh, adding a scarf inside so that way you can't really see the contents of your handbag. I've seen people use this at the farmer's market and stuff like that. So I really love the idea behind it. I just don't know if it's something that I would necessarily end up using quite a bit, but you never know, right? I just think that they're so cute. All right, leave me alone. <laughs> I think it's so unbelievably cute. They have these in a smaller size, the extra small filet, and oh man, that thing is so adorable. It's like this big, maybe that big, but absolutely adorable. Uh, but I just think that this is cool. Now I had, uh, I had, I have a bag um, that I got like this from the Chanel Factory 5 or what have you. Um, I've never, I think I've used it once. And I also got something like this at Ikea, a two pack. It's a little bit smaller for like $7.99. I think I've used those once as well to go to the grocery store. Um, but I like the fact that this has the leather and it's just, it's very, very cute. It has different types of handles and it's, it's just, look at that. It's, it's spacious. It's very spacious because you have this whole netting that you're going to be able to get away with, um, you know, putting your items in here. It's not like these little, uh, these little openings are too big to where your items are going to fly out if you were to use this as a handbag or what have you. I don't know. All right. What can I say? <laughs> what can I say? I've heard so many people say that this has been like their go-to bag for spring and summer thus far, and they love it. So I, I saw it there. I love the color. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to, I'm going to go for it. <laughs> I'm gonna go for it. So I don't know. I don't know, but I think that this is so cute. I'm a huge fan of Longchamp. Uh, I love the brand. Uh, I do have some of their Le Pliage uh, totes in my in my collection, but I don't have anything like this from, you know, something that's not from Ikea and something that's not from the Chanel Factory 5 or what have you. But again, the fact that this has the leather handle and you have other ways of being able to carry it, I think is wonderful. But Again, I tell you, I don't exactly know how often I would use this, but I just couldn't get it out of my head. <laughs> I couldn't get it out of my head. So I don't know. <laughs> Was I crazy? Uh, probably, but I think it is adorable. So I ask you guys, if you have this as well, how do you incorporate it into your lifestyle? Let me know, give me some ideas. So yeah, what can I say? What can I say? I blame everybody else for telling me, oh my God, it's so amazing. <laughs> I'm gonna put it to the test and see how amazing it is for me. But uh, the Longchamp Le Pliage Filet Bag uh, in the regular size in the color rose. Now the next item, I'll be honest, I was super, super nervous because it could be such a hit or a miss when it comes to buying fragrances online without having smelled the perfume beforehand. And all you're doing is basing your purchase off of the reviews that you're reading or seeing online. It could be scary, right? It's not, it's not something that I do often, uh, but every review that I saw or that I, that I watched 
people were raving about this fragrance. And I've had this brand in the past. I've always had great success with them. My husband's had a few as well, and he likes them as well. So at the same time, I was like, you know, this might end up working out for me. I am talking about the Tom Ford Rose Prick Spray. So I decided to go for it in the smaller size, just in case, again, if it didn't work out with my body chemistry or, or if I didn't like it. And I really wish I would have gone for the larger bottle because I am obsessed, obsessed with this fragrance. It is amazing. I love this little case too. Very, very cute. I love the colors. But I think that when it comes to any type of rose fragrance, it can be, I think there's a fine line when it comes to rose fragrances because sometimes they can smell so synthetic, they can be so overwhelming and it's just nauseating. I think it's really hard to perfect that scent in my opinion. Uh, and I honestly wholeheartedly think that this is perfect just the way that it is. It is a little bit intense, just like all Tom Ford fragrances are. They're not known to be very light. Uh, they are intense, but the intensity that it has is, there are not enough words for me to be able to properly describe the way that this smells. So my apologies for not being able to articulate it better, but it smells amazing, absolutely amazing. It does not smell synthetic. Again, it does have that intensity. It's a little bit of a warmer rose scent, but not, it, it doesn't smell like a candle. It doesn't smell like an air freshener. It doesn't smell like something that's been sitting in a drawer for 60 years or anything like that either. It has, it's a very elegant rose scent. And I have yet to say that about any, any type of rose scented fragrances that I have in my perfume collection. This is perfect just the way that it is. It lasts forever. Uh, I've sprayed one or two sprays and it lasts all day, well into the evening, no problem. The sillage that it leaves behind is amazing. I've gotten so many compliments on it whenever I'm out and about and I'm just, I'm, I'm ecstatic when it comes to this fragrance. It's amazing. It doesn't smell like any other rose scent that I have ever smelled in my life. So it's, it's very unique. And as I said before, it's very, it's a very elegant rose scent and it doesn't smell, you know, synthetic. It doesn't smell like a candle. It doesn't smell like your, like the normal rose scents that you smell out there. You know what I mean? Like sometimes they're just like, oh, this is too much. It gives me a headache. It's blah. I, I don't get that from this by any means whatsoever. I think it is divine to say the least. And I really wish, I really wish I would have gone for this in the larger size. Uh, so as soon as this is done, I am absolutely going for the larger size because it is, is it is awesome. And I love this little spray. Very, very Tom Ford. Uh, but as I said before, I know some people um, aren't a fan of Tom Ford fragrances because they can be a little too much. Uh, but I, I'm definitely a huge, huge fan. And Rose Prick has been a wonderful surprise. And I'm so happy that it lived up to the expectation uh, from what I was reading on online, you know, because like I said, everyone was raving about it. Everyone says it's amazing and uh, they get a lot of compliments on it and what have you. So I am very, very, very happy with the rose prick. And if you are in the market for a new rose uh, perfume or if you want a new perfume or if you want to try out Tom Ford, definitely check this out because it is without a doubt amazing. Absolutely amazing. Moving on to another item that I've had my eye on for quite some time. I haven't seen any reviews on this, but I love the brand and I also like the leather. I did pick up something from Balenciaga. All right, let me just open this up. Here is the little dust bag. And I picked up the beautiful classic card holder in the gray pebbled leather with the silver hardware. Although the silver hardware looks like it's aged silver hardware. Uh, but I absolutely love this. It's very simple. Uh, I do have another Balenciaga card holder that is in the uh, faux croc and boss leather. It's orange and it has these big tassels, kind of like um, the tassels on the Predator. Uh, but I wanted something a little bit more simple and I also wanted something in gray because I don't have any gray SLGs and I love this shade of gray. It's beautiful. I like the fact that it's not too light either. It's definitely a little bit darker. 
it's gorgeous but you do have a total of five credit card slots so you have two in the front two in the back and then one at the very top and then you just have uh, Balenciaga written right there but I love 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 their pebbled leather I haven't had any issues with my Neo City Mini uh, and uh, it's just it's it's awesome so I love the way that this looks again the simplicity that it has and um, the gray that it has the shade of gray is absolutely perfect it almost matches their uh, <laughs> their dust bags as well but the classic card holder from Balenciaga and I also I also think that these have a friendlier price point than some of the other card holders from other fashion houses these come in at 250 and there is a variety of colors to choose from as well so I also wanted to mention that so again the classic card holder from Balenciaga in the pebbled leather all right let me put that aside Okay, we have a few more items to go. This next item, if you guys watched my Get Ready With Me, uh, you heard me talk about uh, I'm trying to be a little bit more conscientious of my skincare. Uh, I want to take care of my skin a lot better. Uh, I have been uh, seriously <laughs> slacking in that department uh, for the majority of my of my life, but it's definitely time to, to do something. It might be a little too late, maybe not, but anywho, uh, I had so many of you reach out after that video and you were telling me about a moisturizer that you love. I've also seen so many, so many reviews. Anytime I type it in when it comes to this line, people rave about it. So We'll see. I wanted to leave it in the package. I wanted, to I wanted to open it on camera so you guys can see my initial reaction just in case. But I had a lot of you guys recommend the La Mer uh, moisturizing cream. Um, like I said, I've seen so many reviews on this. I've seen so many people rave about just La Mer's line in general. Uh, so we'll see how this works out. It's definitely probably one of the heftiest price points that I have spent when it comes to skincare myself. Again, I'm not someone that really uh, has really paid too much attention to that in the past. So I went for it in the one ounce. All right, the presentation is pretty cool. Look at that, that's nifty. Here's a little spatula that it comes with. It's a glass container, I like that. That's, that's really nice, store at room temperature. All right, what does it say on the box? What does it say on the box? Or it says it on here. Warm cream between, bet between, between fingertips to help release the miracle broth and press gently into the skin. Uh, I've heard a lot of people say that they've used this for decades. They've used it for years. They've used it for months. And in a short amount of time, they've seen their fine lines uh, get a lot better. Uh, it's very, very moisturizing. Uh, I have combination skin, so I have a very oily T-zone and then very, very dry cheeks, especially right around here. Uh, so I wanted to give this a shot. We'll see how this works out for me. Is it all hype? Is it not hype? I don't know. But uh, let's open this bad boy up and smell it. I wish, I wish there was smell-o-vision. It doesn't really, it has a scent, but it doesn't smell, it's not perfumey. It kind of, what does it smell like? It reminds me of like, mm, like Jergens maybe, or Gold Bond. That's what it reminds me. It smells me of, as uh, it smells like Gold Bond. I don't know. But that's it in the jar. I'm just going to put a little bit on my skin. It's very thick, it feels very thick as I'm putting it on. I know that uh, some people had said a little bit goes a long way, not to put too much because it, it can get very oily. Uh, so I just dabbed a little bit on my hand here and it's very, very, very soft. I'm not the biggest fan of the scent though. I don't know. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not too, it does have, as I'm, as I'm putting it on here, it has like a faint smell of perfume maybe I don't know but I'm not too crazy about the scent but if it works on these on these wrinkles <laughs> if it works on these fine lines I am all for especially my laugh lines they can get pretty <laughs> they can get pretty intense <laughs> but it's it feels very very soft and even though it seems like it's very heavy at first it's not greasy either 
uh, but you can see it gives me a little bit of a glow there. So I'm going to try this out. I'm going to try this out for, you know, at least a month and see how it turns out. You know, will it be the greatest thing since sliced bread as people say it is? Or is it all just hype? Let me know if you are a fan of this La Mer moisturizing cream. Have you been using it for a long time? Do you love it? Do you recommend it? Whatever the case may be, the more information that's out there, the better. You guys know how, how I roll when it comes to the items that I, that I share on my channel. But um, there it is. It's a very, it's a very small bottle. This was 190 bucks. Like I said, it's the heftiest thing that I've ever purchased when it comes to skincare. Uh, so we'll see if it works out, but I like this little jar. <laughs> I like little jars, little boxes. I don't know. All right. So we'll see how that works out. I will definitely keep you guys updated. And again, if you guys have it, if you've tried it in the past, let me know what you think, your thoughts. Um, but definitely uh, I have to use a little bit because a little bit goes a long way. All right, so I definitely saved the best for last. Now this next brand, I have heard about them quite a bit over the last few years. I have always been intrigued by them, but everyone always raves about their quality, their craftsmanship and their price point, especially their price point for the quality that you're getting. So like I said, I've always been intrigued and they have a variety of different products to pick from, whether you go for a handbag, an SLG or accessories. And I am talking about Aspinall of London. So like I said, I've always been intrigued by them and I especially love this bag here because it is just, it's absolutely gorgeous. Uh, but they do have, uh, they have quite a few to pick from, uh, but this one just definitely spoke to me the most. But here it is in its dust bag. And I picked up the beautiful Mayfair Midi in the Croc Embossed Gray Leather with the Champagne Gold Hardware. I think that this bag is so unbelievably beautiful. I am so happy. I am so happy that I went for it because it is better than I expected. And it smells, it smells, it smells, it smells amazing. It smells absolutely amazing. But the attention to detail that this has, the craftsmanship that this has is just it's unbelievable. It is just absolutely gorgeous. I love this color combination. As I said before, they have a variety of bags to pick from and they have a variety of colors to pick from as well. But this one is just, just, I don't know. <laughs> it's absolutely stunning. I know some people might think that this is a little too dressy. I don't think it's too dressy, uh, especially because I am a casual dresser. So this is something that I'm going to dress down. Absolutely. Uh, but I think it's just beautiful. So let me give you guys a really quick tour of it. So here it is on the front side, you have one push, uh, push closure here. You have a top handle. And then on the back, you do have a working a working pocket that has a little magnet as well. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see it, but it has a little magnet there as well. So I do like that. It says Aspinall, uh, Aspinall of London, England, right there. It does have four feet along the bottom. And then to open it up, you push this down, you feed that through, and it opens up like so. And you have a total of two compartments and then one zip compartment here. And it also comes with a chain strap that has leather woven in between as well. It reminds me of the, um, of the trendy CC or the, um, what's it called? The cocoa handle in a sense, but here is the chain that it comes with. And you have these little lobster clasps here and it says an A for Aspinall of London. And the chain itself, it doesn't feel flimsy. It's not super heavy either. It has really, really good weight to it. And it also, it also smells amazing because of the leather that has woven in between. But I, I love this color combination. I think it's gorgeous. Uh, but it is a very, very beautiful bag. There is not a single stitch out of place. Nothing. It is just, it is insane. It is beautifully, beautifully crafted. And I really cannot get over this color combination, the gray with the champagne gold hardware. I would have never thought to put those two together, but it absolutely, absolutely works. I think it is gorgeous. Now this bag is available in four different sizes. It's available in the, uh, in the Mayfair. Then you have the midi, which is this one. Then you have the mini, and then you have the nano. Uh, but, uh, I really, really love this size. It's not too big. It's not too small. I can really see myself hand carrying it uh, or using it, of course, on my shoulder. 
Uh, and I will give you guys a couple of mod shots as I am uh, as I'm showing you some details so you can see what it looks like on my body frame for reference. I am five foot five, but I really love this chain. It is just gorgeous. And once again, let me bring up the bag uh, closer so you guys can really see the details. Once again, let me show you guys the interior. There's that pocket. There's that pocket. And then the zipped pocket is very, very smooth. The zipper doesn't catch or anything like that. And there it is. It is quite generous as well. You know how sometimes the little uh, zippered pocket can be really, really tight to where you can only fit like one little card in there? That is definitely not the case with this bag. And I will put the measurements on the, uh, on the, on the screen here so you guys can see what it looks like. It says, caring for your Aspinall of London products. Congratulations, you are now the proud owner of an Aspinall of London product. Guarantee, we are pleased to guarantee all of our products against any fault or work of workmanship for up to one year. We will make any necessary repairs at our cost, providing your product has been used only in accordance with our suggested guidelines. We wish you years of enjoyment using our products and look forward to serving you in the future. How awesome is that? And it has a general care of how to, um, what, she, what you should avoid, direct sunlight, abrasive surfaces, and then how you can clean your, uh, your product as well. So that is, um, that's nice. That's really, really nice to see. Uh, but again, there we go. So I will show you guys also what I could end up fitting in this bag because it's, uh, it's small, but it's not too, too small either. And then as you can see on the sides here, these kind of open up a little bit as well. So you have even more space uh, within the bag. So that's really nice too. But I, I love this bag. As soon as I opened up, I was grinning like an idiot from ear to ear when I saw it because I was like, oh my gosh, it's, it's better than it's on the website than I've seen on videos or reviews or what have you. It's just, it's an absolutely beautiful bag. It's, I mean, you could dress it up definitely. And of course, dress it down. Um, but it is just absolutely gorgeous. And because, because I loved it so much, I also, <laughs> I also got it in the nano size. Now the nano size is advertised as a bag charm. So just keep that in mind. It's advertised as a bag charm and I, <laughs> I think it is so freaking cute, but check this out. Look at this one. So this is the Mayfair in the nano size and the color burgundy with the champagne gold hardware as well. This is ridiculously cute, like stupid, stupid cute. Uh, and I'm, I'm absolutely here for it. I love love, love this color combination. I am a huge fan of burgundy, especially when it's paired with champagne gold hardware, but this is beyond gorgeous. Like I like this bag so much. I want that midi in this color as well. <laughs> That's how crazy I am about it. But let me give you guys the details on this one. So on the front side, you have the same, or I'm sorry, you have the turn lock closure here. On the back, it also has a little pocket. Look at that. It has feet along the bottom as well. And the feet have little A's and the top handle. And, it, oh, and then you also have these little rings on the side because this bag, as I said, it's featured on their website as a bag charm. Uh, it also comes with a little chain, but the chain has two different adjustments. So you can take off this chain here completely. Okay. And then just kind of put it on the bag itself like this and use it as a bag charm. Or you can put this back on and use it as a cross body bag because it does have two of these. So you have one here and one here. So depending on how long you want your bag charm to be, if you want it to be a little bit shorter, a little bit longer, you have that option. Or if you want a little bit of a shorter or a longer uh, crossbody or shoulder bag, you have that option as well with this chain. And again, this chain, it does not feel flimsy whatsoever. It has really good weight to it, but not to the point where you feel like it's gonna be digging into your skin either. So I do appreciate that. But come on, how cute is that? Look at that. And the burgundy has the, um, well, it has another little care card there. The burgundy has the royal blue lining as well, 
but this is just unbelievably unbelievably cute. <laughs> I think that this is adorable. I can see this not only as a bag charm, I can see it as a catch-all, I can see it as a little wallet inside of your larger handbags, or if you wanted something that, uh, I mean, if you wanted to use this as a belt and kind of use it as a belt bag, you can do that as well with just your bare essentials because it is incredibly small. And I will also put the measurements on the screen here so you guys can check it out. But it is so, so adorable. <laughs> I love this. So Aspinall of London, you have definitely, I mean, it has definitely not caught me by surprise because again, I've heard so many people rave about this brand and about their craftsmanship, uh, but it's, it was very nice to see just the quality and the detail that goes into these bags because it is, it is absolutely insane. And considering the price point that they have for the quality that you're getting is wonderful. But here they are side by side. I mean, look at that. Remember, there is a size in between these two. Uh, so this is the smallest. Then you have the mini, then the midi, and then the larger one. Uh, but I can honestly see myself getting this bag in this color uh, because I just think that this combination is fabulous as well. They have this in green and the green that they have this available in is like, it's like a deep, deep forest green. It's just unbelievable. And again, with the champagne gold hardware, it just looks beautiful, absolutely beautiful. So I am very impressed. I am very happy with these two purchases and I can definitely see these on, uh, you know, in major rotation within my collection. And this guy, <laughs> this guy, I just can't, I can't, all right. I can't, I love the little nanos, the little, the little itty bitty bags because they're absolutely adorable. But in this case, it's not just adorable. It's actually functional as well. So I absolutely, absolutely love that. So again, the Mayfair and the Nano and the Burgundy with the Champagne Gold Hardware and the Mayfair and the Midi uh, with the gray croc embossed, uh, same as this one, with the Champagne Gold Hardware. So there we go. All right, you guys. So that does it for my very, very, very chatty haul. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. And remember, I do have a 10% off coupon code from Farfetch that I'll put the code right here once more. And all of the details will be in the description box below, along with all of the links to everything that I showed in this video, if you guys want to check it out for yourselves as well. Uh, but I hope that you enjoy this video. I hope I was able to give you a little bit more information, especially if you're looking to add any of these items to your wardrobe or to your collection. So again, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, make sure and give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already and you'd like to, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and I'll see you guys later. And as always, make it a fabulous day or not. The choice is yours. Have a great day.